Good morning. My name is Paige, welcome to my channel. I am trying another weekly vlog and this is the last week of July and I've only read five books for the month. So I'm really, really hoping that I can read three books this week. I need to finish Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. I'm only 25% in. It doesn't have an audiobook to unscrib though, so I'm going really slow with it, but I'm hoping I will finish this by this week. And then I want to finish one last stop for sure. I want to have read this in July. So I'm going to prioritize this and Sea of Ruin and hope to finish these very, very soon. The audiobook for this is on Scribd, so I'll be listening along to that so that I can read it just a little bit faster because I prefer to read that way lately. But I would also like to read Where the Crawdads Sing. I have the audiobook on Audible, so I can also listen to that pretty quickly. So I'm probably going to put this more towards the end of the week unless something changes during the week and I just feel in the mood for something slower paced. So these are the books that I'm going to attempt to read this week. So I will be taking you along on my reading journey. So, so far I am loving this. I have made it almost halfway through already and it is so fun, so cute. I love August. I feel like I relate to her in a lot of different ways and she might become one of my favorite characters. I just think that she is so cute, but I, I'm taking a break to eat some Taco Bell and I need to catch up on so many videos so I'm trying to be better about watching videos, commenting on videos, but it's so hard to find time when you want to read and make videos and film and everything so I'm going to eat and then I think I might be able to finish this tonight. Is that, is that crazy to finish it in one day? But it's so cute. I want to know how it ends and I'm really intrigued by this time traveling stuck in time Jane and I want to know what happened and why and I think that there's some things that connect them and I'm really excited to see how that actually ends up resolving itself so okay I'm hungry <laughs> it's Wednesday afternoon and I haven't checked in since Sunday but I did read and finish one last stop all on Sunday and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was super cute. I ended up sobbing towards the end of it and I'm just really glad that I read this one finally. It is just as good as everyone was saying that it is. It's just so cute. I love August. I love Jane. I thought that they were so cute together and it definitely makes me really want to re reread Red, White, and Royal Blue. <laughs> Just because I really do like Casey McQuiston's writing. I just think it's really cute and really fun And I think this is definitely a high four star if not a five star read for me I just thought I just thought it was a really good time and they were so cute together and it was just yeah I've said it was so fun, but it is it's so fun. It's so cute I'm Super glad that I read this one, but I do need to read I have not read at all Monday at all Tuesday and it is Wednesday So I think I'm going to start where the crawdads sing sometime tonight after dinner because I have it on audible and I can read that pretty quickly when I am listening along. So I think this is what I'm going to pick up next and I'm running out of time to finish the two books that I wanted to read. So who knows if I will read Sea of Ruin by the end of the week. Not really sure, but I'm going to try and prioritize this one. But right now I don't really feel like reading and I actually want to put all of my dust jackets back on my books. I don't really want to, I just think that it'll be easier for me to take pictures of books when I want to post on Instagram and if I want to talk about a book if it doesn't have the dust jacket on it's kind of hard to talk about it holding it up because it's just a blank cover usually so I think I'm going to take some time and put all of those dust jackets back up even though they look so pretty without dust jackets okay I'm gonna do that I might show a little bit of it but my room is a mess right now so don't know how much of that I'm gonna show also I was at my friend's shop today and she let me take some pictures of all of her stuff and I got to pick out something that I wanted and I got this cute cow jacket <laughs> look at how fun it is I love it it's so cute it's cows all right this is the mess I'm working with right now these are all of my books that I used to have on a TV stand over here but I've switched it out for a desk so now they're just kind of here and I have all of these books without dust jackets and then these are all paperbacks and stuff so I need to get cracking. Okay, 
they're back up but now I don't know how to organize them so I think I'm going to leave that for a future page because I don't feel like dealing with it today <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna include this in the vlog but as I've said a few times in a few videos this year I lost my grandma in February and there's a lot of things that we have to go through in our house that we need to organize and put into storage until we're ready to look at it but one of the things that I've been really wanting to do is go through some of her books and put them in a spreadsheet and keep track of what she's already read because something that her and my great grandma used to do is that they used to put their initials in books that they read and that was something that my grandma got from her mom so my great grandma had given her children some of the old mass market paperbacks that she used to collect when she was retired and she would read those when she was retired and so my grandma had a lot of her mom's books and she had also been reading some of those books too throughout her life so I wanted to start going through them eventually in the future but for some reason today I just felt like I needed to go and start that so I just made a spreadsheet really quick pulled it out into the living room and started going through some of these books and inside some of the books my great grandma would write her initials and then on a few of them she would write a little note here and there so on my spreadsheet I was trying to keep tracks of like what the little notes said in the books and I got to this book by Danielle Steele inside of it my grandma had written a note and I don't know who it's to but it says happy birthday I heart you XXOO I was just sitting here it's been a few hours since I found this and it's July 30th and my birthday was June 30th <laughs> and I already cried when I found it like I immediately just broke down into tears because I wasn't expecting to see her handwriting besides her initials because I knew her initials or her name would be written in some of these but seeing that no and then I kept going and I found another one at the top that said happy B day and I just think it's really wild that it happened a month after my birthday the first birthday I've ever not had her around for so and I didn't even realize it was the 30th until just recently so I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna include that but I guess I just wanted to document that I feel like I needed that but at the same time it makes it so sad too to just remember that they're not there but at least there's little notes that we get to find and things here and there because I've said it a few times but I would just give anything to find like a note from her or something that I haven't read and okay back to the regularly scheduled vlog maybe oh I'm sorry hi let's talk about this book so I read this a couple of days ago and I have had a few days to really think about whether or not I like this book and going into this I didn't really know much about it I didn't know much about the author and so I found myself really enjoying the beginning I loved how atmospheric it was it's beautifully written and it's so descriptive and the nature aspect is so beautiful and I really did like a lot of it I really liked Kaya as a character and I felt so strongly for what she was going through and I really sympathized for her and I thought this was going to be a new favorite I really 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 enjoyed the very beginning and then I would I want to say around the middle there is about four or five uses of the n-word in this one and it kind of was jarring to read that because there were references to other cuss words in the book that she would say oh my father said a bad word my father cursed and it wasn't explained what words he was saying then but in the book the author chose to use that slur multiple times in the span of like two pages and it just it felt uncomfortable it didn't make any sense to what was going on it didn't need to be put in there at all so that kind of made me a little bit weary and I kept pushing through I kept reading because the story was compelling enough and I really wanted to know what the mystery was who ended up doing the killing that happened in this book so if you don't know what this is about it's going back and forth between like the 50s 60s and present day which is like 
1969 I believe where a man was found dead in a swamp and they're trying to figure out who did it and everyone's accusing this girl named Kaya who they refer to as the marsh girl. Kaya grew up in the marsh and she was abandoned by all of her family and she pretty much raised herself so she is like the likely suspect because everyone has big prejudices against her and think that she is trash and uh creepy person she's kind of like the kind of like the witch in the woods where the boys in the town would try and go and knock on her door and see like what cre creepy creature she was so she had a lot of stereotypes against her and so naturally when this man's death happens in the late 60s they all assume it's her and then it's going back and forth between her life and then the present day where they're accusing her of this murder so all of that was really captivating and i kept reading even though i just felt a little iffy something just felt weird to me and then the very ending kind of twisted everything on its head for me the very last two pages had a lot of reveals that didn't make sense to me at all and i felt myself not really caring at all how it ended i was moved in a lot of spots i was crying over the losses that kaya had and the way that she felt throughout it but the ending just kind of undid so much for me and i've watched a couple of other people review this book and i've read a few reviews where people thought that that where people said that they th saw that ending coming from a mile away and i didn't because i thought that the book set it up to make that ending not possible so when it was revealed it just I didn't see where so I don't feel like it was executed well enough and it didn't elaborate enough on the who did it at the end for me to believe it and it just felt like it was trying to do a twist ending just for a twist ending so that part left me just really not happy with how the book ended I really thought that this was going to be a five star read at some point just because I was emotionally moved but then things just kept getting knocked down knocked down knocked down and after I read this book it just so happened that somebody posted on TikTok saying why they refused to read this book and they were going into Delia Owen's history and her husband's history where they had moved to Africa to try and protect elephants and in the process I guess they felt the best way to do this was by killing the poachers who poached the elephants and I've tried to look a little bit more into this and everything that I've been watching is just saying that the publishing company kind of like pushed it under, under the rug. Delia Owen said that they weren't actually in, involved in anything like that but it just felt weird. So I need to look further into this. I haven't had a lot of time to really research this but I feel like I'm just not going to rate this book because there's just so many strange things about that whole situation that I don't know about and I just feel uncomfortable. So if anyone else knows more about this and would like to have a conversation with me about that I just don't really know what to say so part of it was beautiful but I felt icky by the end with the slurs in the book and the way that the, it ended in just a, such a disappointing way to me and everything that's going on with the author that just I don't I don't know I don't feel settled with this one so I'm gonna put that book aside I might just unhaul it because I don't really know it just feels like a very strange situation but that is what I read this week. I never even got to touch Sea of Ruin. I've just been kind of busy and also kind of lazy throughout the whole week. So I've only finished one last stop and this book this week. But we are into August now and I need to get started with reading for the Enneagram Readathon. So I need to end this clip and start that vlog. So I will be seeing you in my next reading vlog, which will be the Enneagram stuff and then whatever else I post up in between if I do <laughs> but yeah let me know if you have read one last stop or if you have read where the crawdads sing and what you thought about either of them and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye